Hello everyone, this is King Kony LT. In this video, I will tell you how to country the invert uh, by COL logical controller that you can send command to invert by the RS485 interface uh, by the RS485 bus because the invert is widely used in automation project. Usually, the three-phase motor have connected the invert so we can country the motor start, stop, and change the speed uh, by changing the inverter's frequency. So it will be easy to country by the COL logical controller. Uh, this video, I will show you how to send the command by the COL and to country the invert. So you can use this way to country any other IS485 device uh, so you can let your device become smart. Okay, let's begin how to do with it. Okay, let's look at the hardware. This is event, and this is CLB logical controller, and this is a switch panel. This switch panel is six button. Uh, we can also change the free, uh, like this color, this one, or this one. And this event is connected with the line with the IS485. You can see this event, this is 220 input. You can also use the three-phase input. And this is the panel. And at the bottom, this is a three-phase three flower for the three-phase motor. Uh, I have not connected. And uh, we can see in this point, Uh, this is IS485 interface A and B, and this is connected with the COLs A and B. This is the COLs A and B uh, connected with the invert, and this is a six button switch because we will define the running, a stop, and the frequency one, frequency two, frequency three, frequency four for a demo. So you can see this is the line for KCOM and K1 to K6, this all line, you can use the C85 network cable. So total use seven line, uh, rest one line not need to use. And uh, this KCOM is connected with this one. This is for digital input, uh, 16 channel digital input. The COM is at this row. So I uh, use this this hole of K COM. And uh, this is K1 to K6 at this. Okay, this is hardware. Now we begin to use the PC software to configure uh, how to work. Okay, let's look at how to use this PC software. Before you use this PC software, you should find out your readme of the inverter. Uh, this readme, you need to find out the protocol of the inverter. It's just like this. Uh, usually, the invert use the mode bus protocol. So you can find out your self invert. Just find out find out the command uh, like this command. How to work and how to stop and how to change the frequency. Just uh, like this sentence and this command by yourself. And I have already saved this command on my computer, so it's easy to, for us to test. So let's look at uh, begin to work. Uh, the first, we can use the connect uh, to connect our CLO logic controller. And we can choose out report on. And we can firstly test our switch panel, whether good contact. When I press the key one, you can see this is turn green. I press K2. This is turn green. Uh, three, button three, and the button four, and the button five, and the button six. Okay, all button is work well. Now we begin to create our customer size function for the command. I have uh, saved this command as a stop, the stop, and the change the Frequency, uh, like frequency 1, 2, 3, 4, this four kind of frequency we have for six buttons. So we can copy this command for our test. This is for start. Oh, this is our 
uh, last time we have used, we can delete all. Not need to use. And we choose the paste. And now this is start command. And by RS485, the protocol you need to check the hex mode. Because uh, the invert, I have used the hex protocol command. command. So it according to you, if you send the ANSYS string, uh, so you need not to check. If you uh, need to send the hex format, you need to check this and uh, paste for this command. And also in this window, we need to, we need to check the hex format. OK, now we can send. This is a debug window for our test. This is the right command to our CLL. So the first you need to test in this window. The function is OK. Then you can paste to this way and to write uh, the command. We can send a press. OK, you can see the invert uh, began to work. Now is the 10 hertz. Uh, this is the last time I have set. The command is OK. So we can copy this command uh, to this window. And this is define command number one. We can press write. OK, write successfully. Now we can uh, choose this. Uh, we can test our frequency because the next is stop. So we can uh, test this frequency, uh, whether it work well. And we can copy and also paste to this window. And we can press the send. OK, you can see the invert is changed to uh, 30 hertz. Uh, it's right. OK, we can press uh, copy this. A stop command, uh, paste. We can send. OK, the invert is stopped, but it have delete time to stop the motor of the fan. So we can create the number two, the command. Uh, just this command we can copy in this window. OK, we can write uh, the number two. Uh, make sure you have checked uh, these options. Also, we can uh, write the number three. This is number three command. We can paste and change the number three. And then write, OK, write successfully. Uh, this time, I tell you how to convert the hex format to decimal. We just use this calculate. And you can see this uh, 1388 is the hex. And the decimal is 5000. Uh, so this is 50 hertz. Uh, this is how to convert. Just use Windows, this calculate to convert. OK, now we can create the number 4 command. I can also copy and uh, paste and uh, write and the number 5, 525 hertz. And the copy and the paste. This is number five, right? This is number six. This is number six. Okay, we have created six command. Now we go to FTDD function. Uh, now it's empty. I can create the number one FTD command. Just add it. And uh, because I have used the uh, switch panel, this is for digital input. So I can define the input one, just the K1. Uh, this is input one. And this is for the hand. The, the hand is on. And when I press, uh, uh, this section means when I remove the finger. So when I will choose this, when I press, uh, hold on this time for Zero to one second, we will triangle. We can add this F if function. And now we can go to Zen. We can uh, do this RS485. Send the command to this RS485 point by the number one define command. Uh, that is number one, start. So we can just add Zen command. We can apply. OK, you can see the command is set. Now we can press the key one. We can press. 
uh, you can see uh, the invert is began to work. Okay, we go on. Now we can create the ifttd function and then choose the number two. Edit. This is number two, the key two. Also, we can press on the zero point one second. Edit to if, and then the command is stop. Stop in number two. So we can add to then and apply. Okay, this is number two, uh, button two. When I press, okay, you can see this invert is stop work. Okay, we go on. We can number three button, we can add. We choose number three and uh, also the other point one add and then I ask for it fine number three apply we go on with number four and edit and the K4 and the other point one and the number four apply okay number five add number five apply last one number six k6 Okay, let's begin to test this switch button. Uh, I press a key one, uh, just a key one. Uh, you can see the invert began to work. And this time I not uh, press the stop. Uh, I press change the frequency. Uh, press three, button three. The change to 50 hertz. And uh, press this button. And the change to 30. And the change, press this. Uh, you can to change to 25 and press this it change to 10 hertz and press this okay this is stopped now we can define the six button for the serial logic controller to control the invert and uh, this line you can see this line this line we have designed uh, max can one install in the mid one install the mid is a very long distance and this line this is485 line also can long distance max one sound and meet. So it's enough for you to use for long distance. So at this video, I have tested uh, the 485 uh, command by the switch panel. You can control the event by the analog input, by the many sensors, or by the temperature sensor. What temperature is this speed and what temperature is another speed just uh, set by the CL logic controller. So it will be very useful for you to define the customer command to country event by many ways, uh, by digital input, by analog input, or by the temperature, or by the time, uh, by any sensor, by yourself. Okay, thanks for watching.